Trey Young hinted he wants to be on Team USA at the World Cup this summer, but the roster was announced and point guards are Anthony Edwards, makes sense, rising young star. Jalen Brunson, solid all-star snub. Tyrese Halliburton, actual all-star, but Josh Hart and Austin Reeves? Not Trey? Okay, this isn't the Olympic roster with the best players. Maybe Trey will be on that squad. But reports say he has zero chance. Austin Reeves has a better shot. So Trey goes on Gilbert Arenas' podcast, says he's disappointed, but Gilbert trashed the entire roster. You see that list, man, they got, man? Oh, sorry-ass group. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, I'm happy for the people who make it. It's cool for some of the guys who got there that I don't know. Right, that don't, some of them probably don't even start on their team. I don't know, I don't want to look at it. Because it's embarrassing sometimes where, like, you have star play who's really stars that do want to participate. Okay, I actually had no problem with Gilbert saying that. If he and Trey Young are friends, he's just having his boys back. I would do that same thing. But Trey fans say it has nothing to do with his talent. He's not on the team for a different reason. It's why Trey just unfollowed the head of USA Basketball on Twitter. But Trey was part of Team USA beating Canada for gold in the U18 championship. Look how happy he was with that trophy back then. He obviously loves repping his country with other great players. But since then, he has been frozen out. In 2019, Greg Popovich chose Derek White as the final guard for the select team over Trey and De'Aaron Fox. Then in 2020, he wasn't even close. Team USA announced 44 players with a shot. Trey was out. This was a huge snub considering he just averaged 30 points as an all-star in the NBA. So Trey went on ESPN openly admitting how he felt. I was kind of hurt um, that I didn't make the, the 44 players and um, felt like I deserved to be on that list. The team he grew up playing for was basically calling him overrated. I mean, other young guards on the 44 were like Derek White, Donovan Mitchell, Devin Booker. They're saying Trey's not on that level, despite being an all-star starter. But then his own coach said something unforgivable. An Atlanta-based reporter asked then Hawks coach Lloyd Pierce if it was hard to see Trey left off. He said, no, because honestly, I respect the league. I respect the levels and layers you have to go through. Harrison Barnes, Mason Plumley, those guys have done it. I'm sorry, but Trey's own coach thinks he doesn't deserve it? Mason Plumley is more deserving? That's crazy. Trey was so upset, reports said it caused a break in their relationship and is one of the main reasons Lloyd Pierce got fired. But Trey will have done enough to be on the 2024 Olympics. He'll have been in the league six years. Good chance he's a three-time All-Star. A max franchise player. But how many American point guards would you take above Trey? The 2024 Olympics in Paris will be super competitive. A lot of guys are gonna wanna go. France is gonna host with Victor Wimbanyama, potentially Joel Embiid. Nikola Jokic will be leading Serbia. Luka leading a strong Slovenia. Spain and Argentina always good, but Canada? Have you seen Team Canada? They have Shea Gilgis Alexander, Jamal Murray, RJ Barrett, Andrew Wiggins, Lou Dort, Shaden Sharp, Dylan Brooks. I am not joking, the US could lose to them. It's like the golden generation of Argentina in 04. They beat the Americans with Manu Ginobili over guys like Tim Duncan and LeBron James. USA must bring their best squad. So is Trey one of those? Last Olympics, he was not invited. In fact, Bradley Beal got COVID. They had to replace him. They chose Keldon Johnson. Then Trey's new shoe came out with a red, white, and blue colorway. Trey was expecting an invite, so he made an Olympic shoe that is so sad. All this man wants to do is represent his country. So there are 12 roster spots, and four of them are true guards. I say the locks are Steph Curry, never played in the Olympics, but if he wants in, he is in. Damian Lillard, I know he didn't play well in 2020, but he's a vet who's been committed. Jalen Brunson, sounds crazy. Steve Kerr loves him. He is the Olympic coach, Brunson's a lock. 
So who gets that last spot? What if Clay Thompson wants in? What about Drew Holiday for defense? Jalen Brown, young guys like Tyrese Halliburton or Kate Cunningham, Donovan Mitchell, Devin Booker, Anthony Edwards, and De'Aaron Fox. That is a ton of competition. This will be a storyline all NBA season about who is playing good enough to make the Olympic roster. Trey fans say he is good enough. Hits clutch shots, amazing passer, average a double-double for the first time. The real reason he is not in is politics. Team USA leadership just doesn't like Trey. They're haters. It used to be a tryout to make the squad. They invited a lot of players, then they competed. But then Grant Hill took over. Under Grant, things have changed to a more relaxed system. Now players don't have to show deep commitment. They just get invited without a big sacrifice. They say Hill is biased against him. So Trey unfollowed him on social media. Weird, because Grant Hill's also part owner of the Hawks. Is Trey gonna get traded? No, this had to do with Hill running USA Basketball and Trey feeling like it's politics. But really, it's not. They just don't need what Trey gives them. His actual competition is the young guards. Trey isn't taking Steph or Dame's spot. He's fighting with Jalen Brunson and Tyrese Halliburton, Book, Spider Mitchell. Trey is too small on defense and his offense doesn't make up for that. They have offense covered already. With like a KD or a Jason Tatum. Yes, Trey's a great passer, but if that's all you offer, it's not good enough. They need someone to play well off the ball, be an efficient scorer. But why does Trey think it's political? Because when players are anonymous, they trash him. In an anonymous survey, players named Trey as the most overrated player. During all-star voting, Trey was the fifth East guard among fans, 12th among players. Players pick guys like Zach Levine and LaMelo Ball ahead of him. I am not trying to trash Trey Young. I'm just showing why he's paranoid that it's political. Trey thinks people don't like him because they probably don't. And I'm sorry about that because Trey is just a person who wants to be liked and who wants to represent his country. But what he needs to do is stop worrying about what other people think about him. Just ball out, win with the Hawks, and the rest will take care of itself because no one can deny a winner. But what I've realized this offseason is you guys don't really want like story videos from me. Like you really don't. Like I've put out a bunch of these story videos recently. They are all tanking compared to what my normal videos do on this channel. You guys want news like this video, this video right here. Like this is like a news video. But please give some of those story videos a chance. I really enjoyed making them. Like the one guy to beat Michael Jordan one on one isn't even a pro basketball player. He's a nerd billionaire. How did that happen? Check it out.